Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Scorpio. Any placement. Flip a switch to energy. Take a resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective Scorpio reading. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, let's see. What does spirit want you to know? We got deprivation. Oof. Prosperity. So your universal spirit team could be leading you towards some endeavors here in order to be fulfilled, to come out of this lack energy. Someone could be draining you. You could feel like you're running low on something, low on energy, low on funding, low on support, low on love. Well, Scorpio, what's the energy? That's a hidden fact that would have been at the bottom of the deck. Oh, this is someone you're dealing with. And they could be draining or going through that. We got purpose. Master teacher. Some of you are trying to figure out what it is that you're supposed to be doing in life. Could be using your psychic ability. Okay, with psychic awareness. But there could be some kind of restriction or mental block. In regards to what's next with that arrow for you. Or oh, this is someone you're closely connected to. Yeah, and that could definitely be a delay in y'all's connection or delay in y'all's business partnership. Some of you are trying to find you. For so Scorpio, what's the energy? What tried to jump out was despair. We're going to leave that in there. We're going to see what, if it comes out in another way. That's going with that deprivation. Bottom of the deck, we have celebration. Okay, so definitely something working out in your favor at the bottom of the deck as a hidden factor. It's like... After all is said and done, it works out. Let's see. Some of you have, could have gone through a lot. This I can go in. Yep. Past suffering. <laughs> I can't even get started. It says past effect in the present. Lack betrayal. I said lack. Let the past go. Victim. Okay. Some of you have gone through something, but now it's time for you to venture forth. Use that as some kind of momentum or drive. Someone's an overthinker. They're in their head a lot. Or you could be worried about something. Or oh, this is someone you're connected to. I don't like this energy um, because it could be taking up a lot of mental space, which will be this energy here with the restricted mind, the chains. Someone needs to break free from something. But more than likely, it's a pattern or a thought process. It's blocking your spiritual gifts, male or female. A lot of people have somehow stereotyped the psychic for women. A lot of people do that. Not that they don't know that men are psychic on other parts of spirituality. But yeah, there are a lot of closed-minded people with that chain that thinks it's just one gender. But let's see. What is purpose for Scorpio? Mercury, communication. You could be a speaker could be your destiny to be a speaker to blog to open up yeah so some of you are meant to speak out you're meant people want to hear from you or at least is this is your destiny your purpose to be heard but you could be closed off you could be in a putting yourself in a box in a shell but people will celebrate you if you just put yourself out there and begin to speak something has happened in your past though that caused you to be closed off well this is your person when i say your person it's a soulmate a twin or somebody you're thinking about child's father child's mother what's purpose for scorpio jupiter it's time to take action i like that clarification it says expansion growth pursuing passion jupiter that's that today thursday but um that's that energy of expansion and seeing what's out there but with fortune and new opportunities it's time for someone to figure out what's next for them yeah some of you could work a regular job living a regular life but you're not a regular person there's something about your mentality, your headspace, or this is someone you're connected to. It's time to take action, though, for sure. Okay, we'll see which card that I will read with the little booklet. Let's see which one holds the heaviest weight for me. Psychic awareness for Scorpio. This fell over Jupiter. Nostalgia is something about the past. This could also have been passed down gifts. 
Missing someone's six of cups past life soulmate, the past memories, nostalgia. Some of you, Lord, that's deep. Some of you can see into other periods of time with nostalgia and psychic awareness. Some of you, something from your past is blocking your gifts. Some of you, you're connected telepathically to someone. It's like they feel you, you feel them. Or maybe you feel them because you're the one with the psychic awareness. <laughs> Let me get another for this. I just got something came through from a VZ. Psychic awareness. Some of y'all could be dating somebody with a letter V. Okay, that was Instagram. Present attracting, gratitude abundance. So I got nostalgia past, the past. Then I got present. Something going on here. Some of y'all can see into phases of life. That's deep. Gratitude, abundance, positivity, tranquility, success, attracting. Some of you know what's coming. Some of you can relate a past. Ooh, that's that's a very powerful gift if you can do that. But um, for some of you, again, I repeat myself. It's time for you to get focused on your purpose. What's next for you in life? We're present here. And then I repeat with the, the past right here in the corner by my fingernail. Is blocking this gift, divine soul. Some of you are connected to a spiritual partner here. Y'all are supposed to do something, attract, be attracting, being abundant here together. Maybe y'all supposed to use y'all gifts together. It's giving power rangers. Let's join forces. <laughs> oh my God. Restriction. Lord have mercy. What's going on? This song is Love of My Life, Brian McKnight, and then Union came out as your restriction. You mean to tell me? There's a Gemini energy with the lovers, integration of yin and yang. I just said some of y'all connected to a person, and here we go. So a person is blocking you from moving forward. Whether you're with them, or you can't get over them. And if you over them, they the experience of them keeps picking like keeps finding its way back in your life, the past, missing someone, which is blocking your gifts or your ability to move forward and focus on you. Restricted by union. How? Celebration. It could be a twin, and y'all caught up on that working out. If it's not a twin, it's just somebody that you could be missing i just got a download mid mid speech some of you are closed off to relationships yes because of something that happens in your that happened in your past and there could be a connection as part of your growth your purpose or you becoming your best self celebration hmm. unexpected tower scorpio energy destruction conflict unforeseen change sudden news clarifying celebration this is a surprise you could be doubtful in your head lonely at times hopefully not every day negative thinking missed opportunity missing someone not hopeful discontent four cups rejection woe is me energy probably more than likely not feeling good enough too this guy here is with his hoodie on outside so someone could just be isolated from society they in their own bubble so before i forget come back thought someone here feels like they're not good enough for a relationship based on something that they've already experienced they don't want to get hurt again so they've restricted unions they don't want to be in a relationship but this could have come at a surprise some a relationship has shown up for you or you showed up for somebody that they calls out to you. Or you're dealing with somebody, you need to release that because something else is out there for you. However it go. If someone else is not out there for you, your purpose is. Let's read purpose. Card number 38. Some of you could be 38. 3 and 8 breaks down to 11. 11 can break down to a 2. Partnership, choices, duality, but 11 by itself. It's a new door opening, a new beginning manifestation so manifesting a partnership let's see maybe you did manifest some of y'all could have been laying in bed at night laying on the couch laying on the floor thinking about what it would be like to have a lover then poof surprise 
while you were sitting here in solitude, everything you manifested, here it goes. Celebrate four wands energy. That celebration is the four wands in tarot. Mm -mm. Purpose. Let y'all look at the illustration as I read. Consistency, dedication, reliability, faithfulness. You're beginning to stride into your purpose. Work is no longer a struggle and your master teacher is guiding you along the way, which could be a spirit guide. The more or an ascended master, the more aligned you become with your light or guardian angel. <laughs> Life's <laughs> proper path, the more your days will flow with ease. You will lose track of all barriers, restrictions as you go with the flow and throw your heart and soul into your efforts. Your dedication will pay off in the long run, but even this isn't important. Your efforts are their own reward. Celebration. Wow. Doing what you love so well and so faithfully fulfills you. Your challenge is to resist the temptation to push yourself to exhaustion. Remain measured and steady and don't overlook the importance of taking a day of rest at least once a week. Your master teacher is pleased with your progress, but reminds you that even though you may love your work and feel that you could work forever, your body and mind do get fatigued. Develop the wisdom to know when to step away and when to refresh your soul. Your master's teacher's message is free yourself. Clarify with Jupiter, expansion, growth, pursuing passions, new opportunities, and fortune, inspired risk, action. So that card is going to say the same thing per reading, per, per reading, per reader. However, if I was to apply with the rest of your reading, it's simply time for you to try something new, open yourself up to love, open yourself up to these new ideas, creativity. You could be very creative. You could be a blogger. You could be a speaker. The issue is you have somehow restricted yourself off from trying something new, being with someone new, letting someone go, uh, opening up. Or putting yourself out there, it's time to put yourself out there. Or it's time to release something and free yourself. It did say free yourself. Let's see what's going on in tarot for you, Scorpio. I just looked up at 1222. Okay. Ooh. Capricorn energy. There could be some kind of addiction. You could be overindulging. It could be cake, pies, cookies, cigarettes, marijuana, drinks, sex. Or fear. Or a partner holding on to you. Mm, with the devil. Let's see. Well, hello, King of Swords. For some of you, this is the guardian that is watching over you. First thought came to mind. Okay, there's a bit of a challenge here with it coming out a little slanted. So, if could be the little air sign. But um, I could say there could be, a, for masculine energy, a lack of clarity or a lack of honesty or uncertainties. Mm -hmm. Could be going through court matters as well with a child's mother or child's mother's child support, splitting of assets, um, or just in his head a lot. He's definitely unclear. I will clarify. This king of swords is going to say just like that because that's how he feel. This could be you for Scorpio. A child's mother. <laughs> she fell right on top of him with the Eight of Pentacles. Got him busy or everything he do, his hard-earned money goes to this child's mother. Or this is a mother figure he's taking care of. This is somebody he works with. He's working on his feminine side. He's working on his softness. Or everything that he works hard for goes to this woman. That's, that's it. King of Wands. So he is sexual, he's flirty, he has a magnetic connection with somebody else, or he's very inspirational, he could be doing a lot for himself, but something over here gets him in this guard of energy, I gotta be logical, I do what's best for me, I gotta think, I gotta think clearly, except he's not thinking clearly, because over here he's magnetically pulled and wants to go in another direction, or just really be fruitful, knight of wands to the two of wands to the king of wands, this man has a whole lot of passion for somebody, death card, Scorpio energy, but he needs to let something go, or go ahead and go through that transformation and change and release his past. Past person, past experiences, memories, whatever. Capricorn, no, Virgo energy, excuse me, with the Eight of Pentacles. Huh. So I have Cancer with the Four of Cups. He's doubting something. I'm going to let y'all stay right there until I clarify y'all. Definitely another person in the mix that he's not even with. King of Swords and the Queen of Cups is not a couple. But they got some kind of ties in finance.
This somebody twin. Mooney Long just came on here with twin. Where you been? This somebody twin. He busy with his baby mama. Or he was. If he's not a twin, it's a soulmate tripping off his mother, taking care of his mother. It's some kind of mother figure. Someone's intuition could be guiding his masculine, but he wants to be head over heart. Ooh. Not with the narc. So, or controlling. There's a psychic trying to lead this man guide this man teach him to work on himself show him new things he is stuck in his head or he wants to have a logical approach to everything what bro you is tripping for some of you this your past you getting ready to meet a person you manifested a lover she's psychic for you men she's intuitive she's nurturing you're closed off you're gonna block your blessings I'm seeing it. You're attracting. You're manifesting a union that's restricted. But coming in as a surprise, it's here. You in your head. Wow. You've been watching this person. Then fate is right there. You've been watching this person, manifesting this person. It showed up for you, but you closed up. Oh, Lord. But you really like this person. Oh, Lord. What else was Scorpio? Or oh, this your person tripping with you? I'm do it, Scorpio. Ace of Cups. <laughs> what? Let me get the work out the way. This is a career passion. This is a dream job. Somebody need to try something new. Back to the love. What? Y'all manifested this love, but you got the nerd that don't want to hear how she is intuitive or how she's trying to guide you, nurture you, be compassionate, or your baby mama trying to block your stuff. I'm talking to a dude, a guy. A masculine energy. Cancel Scorpio Pisces. You know what? Fool card. Time for a leap of faith. Time to frolic through the motherfucking flowers. Let's clarify this. Because this is getting too much for TV. Shit. Scorpio, what is you doing? Or what is your person doing? How you gonna manifest love and then <laughs> close yourself? <laughs> what? That can't be the scenario that I'm picking up on. Yes, it is. Two of cups. <laughs> no way, bro. What? This the same thing you've been manifesting. Mm -mm. It's conflict. Five of ones. Or somebody behind the scenes hating, stopping and watching and trying to block it. Or you conflicted about trying something new. Or you don't trust your business partner. Now, that's something to think about. King of Swords, let's talk King of Swords. What's your issue? Come and talk to me. Seven of Pentacles. Investing in what? Patient with what? Hard work. Waiting on what? Taurus energy. The world. He waiting on something to close. With probably another person. Because these people is wrapped up tight. Your destiny is interwoven with another. He, okay, either he wants to be clear about his investments. You know what? Let me talk to this man. Four of Pentacles. He holding it back. Well, he holding on to something or someone. Let me talk. To, did I say King of Pentacles? Let me talk to this King of Swords. I picked the deck up on Twin Flying. Child, listen. I'm so intimidated. King of Swords, can you tell me what this is from you? I will find my way back to you one day. He got to close out a cycle. He wants you to wait. He love you too. You made me want to be a better person. You always on my mind. I'm telling you. For some of you, or this you, you want somebody to wait on you to get your shit together, but you still want to deal with them. Like, you still want to fuck on them, see them, talk to them, but you're not ready to commit to them. Or this is them with you. What's this issue here? How about, what's the seven of pentacles? I got so many questions. I could answer all of them, but let's get to the nitty gritty. What is the seven of pentacles? Jealousy and possessive you, the person of my dream. They invested in somebody that won't let them go. I can see myself with you in the future. I can find my way. I will find my way back to you one day. I can see myself with you in the future. It's given somebody would like to come towards you later on, or they feel this way with you. It's given like somebody is holding on to them. They trying to work that out, and they trying to save you for later. It's getting conflicted. I hope y'all following. 
Who is this jealousy and possessive energy? For some of y'all, they don't want to let you go. I'm telling you, that jealousy and possessive is this energy right here. That four of pentacles, the way he holding on to that. Some of y'all got a bitter ass ex. Maybe they sweet. Because they, <laughs> they put on the facade, not sweet. Don't do that, Angela. <laughs> What's the jealousy and possessive? You the love of my life. Damn, who is it? Secrets and deception. Who is the jealous and possessive person? Ten of Wands. Somebody they taking care of, or somebody they have to provide for, or they don't want to let you go until they work through their problems. Someone they married to for some of you. Hierophant. Taurus energy. <sighs> Wild comeback. What? Who is this Queen of Cups? Because this will tell me everything. Who is she? Ten of Cups. They got a family with this lady. Or this is you, or this is the person you got a whole lot of love for. Who is the Queen of Cups? Pisces energy. She could be a Pisces with this water sign. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Somebody they trying to heal something with, or someone that wants to be patient with them. Or this you. Six of Swords. Knight of Swords. Two of Wands. Hierophant again. Taurus, Aries, Aquarius energy. It's given. I will find my way back to you like they said. I will come back to you when I smooth my life out. Some of you, this is somebody trying to get back with you. Or they wanted you to wait on them. They could have sabotaged y'all's connection. Or this is you. You would like for someone to wait till you get your shit together. Or you got some things you're going to have to choose and pick and figure out. Definitely some sex going on. A whole lot of it. Or it's about to be. Knight of one, I mean, ace of wands to the nine of clubs. It's like this person's brilliant, they're smart, but their emotions is fucked up. I'm seeing a lot of swords. Oh lord, <laughs> let me talk to this queen of cubs. Queen of cubs, what you got to say? Because y'all definitely not a pair, queen of cubs, or maybe y'all not on the same page, but y'all supposed to be a pair, a union, mm. queen of cubs. I feel like I can't give you what you need. She feel insecure or he ain't listening to her intuition. Can we set over this? <laughs> Listen, for some of y'all, this is a baby's mother, your baby's mother that want them back. At some point, she, ooh, she felt like it was her fault that he cheated. He closed off. He ready to be done with the shit. And he got feelings for somebody else, but yeah, he still feels responsible over here. It's like, they hanging on to what they invested in for some of you, but he still is thinking about someone else. It's like, we spent so much time together, seven of pentacles, we got all this invested. They don't want to release each other, jealousy and possessive. You the love of my life, that's how it started. But they can't release it because it's showing up a bit toxic. I seen the devil. I'm seeing somebody need to let go. I got six of cups pass. Psy psychic awareness. Who holding on to who though? Some of y'all, she won't let him go. Some of y'all, he won't let you go or her go. For some of you, you're the person being cheated on. You thought that you was at fault for them cheating on you. You wanted to fix it. You wanted to fix it. Temperance to the ten of cups. Can we start over? This woman is trying to fix stuff with her baby daddy or husband that she's on the brink of a breakup with. If it ain't a baby daddy, it's an ex that he invested in for a long time, seven of pentacles. She, you know what? I'm stamping that. This woman is trying to fix her relationship with this dude. This guy, this master energy. For some of y'all, he over it. For some of y'all, he trying. For some of y'all, he stuck. And he trying to let her fix it. Restriction. Out of nowhere, she wanted her family back. Ten of cups, and it was raining when she decided she wanted it back. For some of y'all, this lady has been trying to help this man balance himself through a hard time. For some of y'all, y'all getting ready to meet a soulmate that's going to help you get back on your shit. Not financially all together, but just make you feel like you can be loved again. Because somebody's doubtful, not feeling enough, they lonely, they feel like the world is over. Or don't nobody, ain't nobody real no more, whatever. Let's see. Yeah, Scorpio, y'all, y'all some complex folk. <laughs> What's eight of pentacles? This is just so y'all brilliant, but different. <laughs> What's the eight of pentacles? 
I got a Scorpio, what? Pluto, Uber, you're just very mysterious. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Lord. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's learning something, working on something, studying something, looking into something. Or they're taking care of a kid. Every piece of Pentacle, every money they get, coin, dollar, goes to this child. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Oh, Lord. Somebody going back to school and they're going to be paid when they finish. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Yes. Eight of Swords, though. Somebody in jail or somebody's restricted mentally. Who is this Page of Pentacles? Who is this? Not what, who. Ten of Wands. Mm, a responsibility. It's a responsibility. It's somebody's kid. Emperor, this is his kid. I'm telling you, they ain't going nowhere until they figure out, I'm going to wait till my, my child turn 18. What? And put off love? Oh, hell no. Or cheat. That's for somebody. For some of y'all, they going back to school. And they're stressful. Or they got a whole lot of shit that they working through. Page of Pentacles is practicality. Consistency practicality I'm trying to be practical about their burdens about their responsibilities weighing things out but listen hmm. what's this sad energy with the ten of wands what's this page of pentacles reminiscing the same shit they invested in that's where it fell this fake kid for some of y'all i dive in our relationships they've been cheating on this person forever well y'all keep falling out <laughs> Page Pentacles. Let me get another. I feel like I ruined everything twin flame. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I abandoned myself to make people feel important. This person have ghosted. They come and gone. They up and they're up and down. They want to fix it. They done with it. They want you. They want them. They want you. They don't want them. They don't want you no more because they fixing it with them. Mm -hmm. Is this a kid? That's all I want to know. Cause that's what I'm feeling. Is this a kid? A cycle. It's a lesson, student. I got. How long will it be? How long will it take till she starts coming home too late? Joe, treat her like a lady. Somebody keep cheating. Um, the wheel of fortune could definitely be an unpredictable card because the wheel is turning. It is facing almost turning, trying to turn sideways, but it's given to the right. The wheel goes on, but someone can find a challenge closing out a cycle because there could be a kid involved. Um, I also feel like someone is studying something, they're learning something, they're in school, they're stressed, they're trying to finish school, they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with their life. It could be as deep as like getting a doctorate, like they really need to focus on that and that. that shit the institution with the hierarchy keeps showing up or they're married to somebody and they haven't closed that cycle out it's becoming burdensome if they're not married this person just doesn't know what's next in their life they're working on themselves they're building them it's building building themselves up saving money four pinnacles showed up so they could be holding back from you i will find my way back to you one day what are they reminiscing on though the The Queen of Wands, and I saw the Queen of Wands. They're reminiscing on this very sexy, seductive energy. More than likely, their mistress. More than likely, somebody that they worked with. More than likely, someone they could have started a business with. More than likely, the person they've been cheating with, if it's not a mistress and no one's married, it's another woman. They're thinking about Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. Period. I'm telling you, it's two women involved. There's a new fiery woman. Someone has shown up. Some that has shown up for someone very magnetic pool but their child's mother wants them back or is in their energy so this person could be guarded oh lord my ear ringing let's repeat what the fuck did i even say because <laughs> that was loud their child's mother showed up and want them back okay for sure for sure <laughs> i'm absolutely certain you and this person was moving and grooving. Their child's mother showed up and wanted them back. Or you decided you wanted to fix your family once hubby or baby daddy decided to skirt on out or pull back. You felt it. You wanted to fix it. 
However, since this is a channel of goddess, I am the channel of goddess. If you got to force something like this, if you have been flip-flopping like a fish, could be dealing with a Pisces. We ain't doing, like, we we ain't got to do this. I'm going to say we, because you're not alone. Like, I got your back. I'm going to tell you to close the cycles out that needs to be closed out. The cycles that restrict you. It hit the flow. Oop, drop the ball. Close out anything that restricts you and holds you back from moving forward in life. Because, obviously, this person has been cheating left and right, up and down. Y'all been going to counseling, therapy. There's probably more than likely two kids involved with these floaties on their head. These, these, these yellow figures here. But yeah, if you're on the other side of this where somebody keeps cheating on you, release it. Because you deserve better. True. Very true. What's his ace of cups for Scorpio? Some of y'all need to get over y'all ex because y'all is blocking something new. Here it is. New love. Ace of cups. Not a soul. It's time for someone to be assertive and take action and follow their heart. Period. Go for it. That's the vibe I'm getting. Not a source of the Ace of is giving. Go for it. Shoot your shot. Try it. Be assertive. Be clear and direct about what you want. And some of you need to really, really focus on your healing and don't move too fast. Some of you need to make a decision about pregnancy or you made a decision about pregnancy very, very impulsively or very quickly. Ace of Cups. The Lovers. Nope. We're done. Oh my goodness. Hell yeah. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Here we go. It's a integration of yin and yang, the lover's card. This ace of cups is clarified with this motherfucker right here. Shooting his shot. Taking action on choosing love. Why I keep dropping? Some of y'all keep dropping the ball on this relationship. Or you better not drop the ball because this shit right here is powerful. It's time for someone to take action on a loving relationship. And if you ain't one that's broken, release it, heal. Then pursue what, the, what it is that you're truly wanting out of love. Period. Just period. Taking action, making a choice in love. Lovers in the Ace of Cups. Gemini energy. And it showed up here again. This is the same energy. If I didn't hold it to the screen long enough. Same energy. Except right here, he's trying to pick her up off the ground. This is the angel of love. Here's that same bird. This bird is spirit. Same energy. Out in the garden. Tree. Tree. Tap the fuck in. Well, what celebration at the bottom of the deck? Justice and healing? Preparation? Peace? Libra energy on steroids and a victory and a celebration. Six of wands. Wow. Some of you need to pause for a minute, go through your healing or take your time in moderation. Let things work themselves out, cause and effect. Or once you go to court and lay this shit to rest, it will be a reason to celebrate. Your life will be more victorious and triumphant. If you're going through court in regards to child support, whatever, go ahead and handle it. Get that shit out of your own energy. Deal with the restrictions and expect a new relationship and something to be very stable, very successful, very fruitful and peaceful for a source to the justice when you're done with that. Just period. Close the cycle out. Peace.